let's talk about another video that you've done. Yeah. Um, becoming okay. a royal. That was a recent becoming one. Becoming a royal. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. That, 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 well. that, 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 that did that did well. That was um because we I married in I married a bloke <laughs> who was a, who was a descendant of a member of the royal family about two years ago. I had to wait a year before I could get divorced from him because in, seriously, yeah, because uh, in heterosexual relationships you can get an annulment, which basically means marriage didn't happen, scrub it. But in, for some reason, in homosexual relationships and homosexual marriages, you can't get an annulment. So you have to wait a year for you to get a divorce. So you was married for a year, genuinely? Yeah, to a bloke, a 19-year-old bloke in Scotland. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> right, and, and he was genuinely like a... He, yeah, he had, his, he had his whole family tree and everything. He was a great guy. He was descended from Mary, Queen of Scots. So I decided to marry him. Like, and so then I would then become a member of the royal family. But then I was married to him for a year. And... Could you, if you wanted to, yeah, fuck him over for some cash? He, c- he yeah, I probably could have done, but it was for a vid. I mean, to be fair, I, he he signed that divorce like certificate pretty pronto. He probably could have then, you know, come for that, come for that big YouTube cash. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Sex actually, so what, was he guys. minted or not? No, he, he was just, I don't know. We didn't get that far. Right, we just like it <laughs> wasn't you- like here, marry me. How much? How much cash you got? <laughs> how many M's? Yeah, that's probably uh, a red flag. Yeah. How did you find that bloke? Instagram. Right. Just a shout out. Just like, is anyone? And obviously, it's my audience. Is like, does anyone here? Is anyone here related to the members of the royal family? And he was like, Yeah, I've got the proof. <laughs> That's class. He came with the receipts. So we, I got married to him, and so I was technically a member of the British royal family. So I thought, I wonder what it would be like if I was a royal in America. So we flew to New York, and first thing I did is I hired two of the biggest security guards I could find just to to walk around with me for like three days. So I was with them, and we went to Times Square. And got a few mates of mine who have like cameras and flashing cameras to like rush me, start shouting my name. And then everybody just wanted a wanted a piece of of the Earl of Luton, which was me. I was <laughs> I was I was just giving handshakes. There were people from Uzbekistan saying that how much they love the country, asking questions about the Queen. So we did that and I thought, okay, right, that worked. So I then thought let me go to some of the really bougie spots in New York. So we went to this, <laughs> we went to this uh, like private shopping, like really, really bougie department store, like proper high end on Fifth Avenue. I cannot name them for a reason. Really? So, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they don't, they didn't feature in the video. They, they do feature in the video, but we, I had to speak to my lawyers a lot about what I could okay. put in. So we turn up and the idea was that my friend who is American, Molly, um, who produces for Zach Allsop, she was going to go in and say to them that she's got a client who's the Earl of Luton who's about to turn up in five minutes and is there anything that they can do to accommodate me? They sit her down. They're like, when's he coming? She's like, she's coming in five minutes. And they like freak out. They get like, right, close the floor. So they closed an entire floor of this department store. Oh my God. Got me, got me a private floor. They got me uh, my own dressing room. So I turn up and I and like, <laughs> Molly comes out and she goes, you've got to really sell this because they have gone like above and beyond. So we're in this lift, two massive security guards, the doors open. They're like, they're waiting. They shake hands. Good to see you, Earl of Luton. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. <laughs> and I'm like, right, I've got to sell this. So I am going, I am so posh. I'm like, well, lovely to see you. Uh, Mummy would be very, very proud. Like I'm just doing some little bit of private shopping here, if that's okay. And they are like loving it. So they then take me around the, the shop floor, right? And they've given me this private dresser and everything on this floor is like every item is over $400, $500 each yeah. t-shirt 500 bucks just standard and so the plan was to like you know have a walk around and then just like oh experience it and then say I wasn't going to buy anything but the amount of like stops they were pulling out for me they were getting me champagne they were getting me free drinks like the whole works so I'm going around so I thought right what I'll do is I'll buy some stuff I'll keep the receipt and come back two days later So (laughs) how much did you spend in there? So I walked around, I spent two and a half grand on four items of clothing, right? Yeah. Hideous stuff, right? I leave. I'm like, right, okay, I've got the stuff. I've got the receipt. I'll go back a few days later. As soon as we leave, I get a message on Instagram from one of the women who worked on the shop floor being like, I knew it was you. Um, You're not allowed to post that. We'll sue you. Like, this is fraud. You impersonated somebody else. And I was like, shit, what do I do? What do I do? So I called up 
uh, my lawyer and I was like, what do I do? He was like, well, yeah, you have impersonated uh, to be somebody else. But that person isn't real. That person's not real. It's a fictional person. So that's what I was arguing. He was like, look, you'll be absolutely fine if you don't return the clothes. (laughs) So I was like, no. So I <laughs> so I had to take the hit yep. and had to keep these clothes oh. that were worth two and a half grand. And I because I'd basically been going around playing a game, seeing whether this personal dresser would say I would look good in anything. So I was pointing out the most hideous stuff, being like, Oh, I think I quite like that. She'd be like, Yeah, you'd look amazing in that. <laughs> and so Fox I then I then just to, to, to make sure I didn't get in any trouble, I had to keep these four items of clothing that were hideous, but I thought I'd rather that than, than get in loads of trouble so then wow. i blurred all faces changed voices didn't include the name can't say the name of any wow. of that stuff. so oh yeah but it works like they 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 if it hadn't been for that i think she was like one of the, the women that worked on the till she was like now nah, i've seen this i've seen why, this she, why was she so, was why, so angry like, why she, she yeah like you don't it's not like you're in charge like why are you so well i guess i'd like wasted their time but i guess i hadn't spent two and a half thousand I mean, you haven't really wasted if she's on the tools her time ain't been wasted she's just getting paid yeah yeah, yeah. i think it's a bit in america Terrible, it's just a bit different though isn't it she wants to die for that that department store that, that department store yeah, is, that was, is everything that was pretty that was that was pretty sketchy that, that was is like, sick though because especially Good i was like in, in another country i was like i might be in a bit of trouble here so i'm um, yeah i'm quite glad that you know that that I and since that's gone up, you haven't heard anything. I haven't heard anything. Well, let's okay. hope that this podcast is. Yeah, so hopefully they don't. They're not like. Don't talk about it in public. Don't talk about it on podcast. It's a boo. Wow, that's. Uh, I don't. I love it's hearing it's stories bad. about how yeah. things actually happen. Is it? Is it bad for them? Is it negative for them in any way? Really? I guess they could look a bit silly. Them. Yeah, they, they should check who they're. Like... They're giving stuff away to. I don't know. I guess. Oh yeah, because you were getting free drinks and stuff, right? So. I was getting, oh, but that okay, was my. Yeah. But I was like, that's their prerogative to do that. I didn't yeah. say, can I have free champagne? It was like they just they just provided it, so it's kind of their prerogative to do that. Mm. Yeah. But and then yeah. the other thing, you got a free helicopter tour. I got a free helicopter tour. We wrote to like publicist companies and PR companies, like with uh, with like handwritten letters. And I also I, I I did a wax seal on it. So you know, like you drip the wax on it, and then I Perfect. sealed it with my posh twat signet ring. So I then like stamped it, sent them lo- loads of th- things. Basically, like the Earl of Luton's in New York. He'd love some experiences to further ties between the two countries. And then <laughs> the and then we got we got a call from from them being like, oh yeah, we've got you. We'd like to give you a helicopter trip around New York. So I got a helicopter trip and the guy and the, the, the pilot like kept on being like, it's so lovely to have you, your majesty. It's great to see you. Oh, <laughs> this is That's, gold, This is man. unbelievable. I, you know what? It's, I find it impressive that in the moment you don't buckle. Well, you kind of, you got to keep going because yeah. otherwise it's like either really embarrassing or you don't know how and, they're going to And are you off. with any friends like when you're filming this because you're with the boys. Oh my God, it'd be, I couldn't, I couldn't do, do it. it. But nah. if, if you're on your own, maybe because... No yeah, well, I mean, I'm kind of like, I'm so focused on getting the, getting the vid. So I'm like, we need, you're locked in. We're absolutely locked in. 